What's up guys and welcome to the Mega Galaxy S11 leaks. The tech year of 2019 is almost wrapped up. Especially from Samsung, we have seen pretty much all the flagship phones. Samsung has done some meaningful, great innovations, especially when it comes to the design. They also made a huge decision of dropping the headphone jack on the Note 10 Plus, a decision that will continue to happen in the future as well. But all in all, it was a good year, but Samsung needs to do some major updates for its next flagship in order to compete with the likes of the iPhone 11 Pro and the Pixel 4, especially when it comes to the camera. So out comes the new report from South Korea. They came out with two major news. First one is regarding the camera itself, which says that the Galaxy S11 will be the first Samsung smartphone to feature the new 5X optical zoom. This zoom camera module that Samsung is working on for the past year is expected to be on the Galaxy S11. 5X optical zoom and up to 10X hyper zoom. This is something that we have already seen on the P30 Pro, so it's not too exciting. I mean, it is a great feature and I really want to have it. It's just not that exciting. But what's really exciting is the second part of this report, which says that the Galaxy S11 could be the first Samsung phone to use Samsung's 108 megapixel camera setup. This 100 megapixel camera sensor is already inside the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha 5G phone, the concept phone that we talked about in the previous video that cost $3,000. Right now, you're looking at its official samples and I gotta say, the image sharpness and quality and clarity is just insane. You can take a picture and then zoom in 200, 300 times without losing much quality and that is insane. The 100 megapixel camera sensor is definitely a huge upgrade from the 12 megapixel one that is inside the Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy S10 family. And this is just one sensor. Samsung will be having ultra wide angle lens and of course that 5x optical zoom along with the TOF camera sensor. So the S11 Plus, at least the Plus model, is expected to rock four cameras on the back. Samsung is also also set to upgrade their camera sensor size so combined with the 100 megapixel camera setup and 5x optical zoom and a new night mode I think it's going to be an incredible incredible package again we'll see more update on that this is definitely a huge news to look at now the same Korean source also said that Samsung will be bringing a massive improvement to its in display fingerprint scanner with the Note 10 plus and the S10 plus you have to put your finger at a certain area to unlock the phone but with S11 according to the report Samsung will be increasing the overall area dimension or in other words the area where you're gonna put your finger the area of the display that can recognize the fingerprint it will be increased massively the active area dimension on the Note 10 and the S10 is 36 square millimeters with the Galaxy S11 it could increase to 64 square millimeters what this means is that the entire bottom half of the Galaxy S11 could be used as a fingerprint scanner this will make things really convenient and easy you can just hold your phone and put your finger anywhere at the bottom half to unlock it. And since Samsung has the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, it also is one of the fastest and one of the most efficient solutions out there on the market. Now as for the design, the Galaxy S11 family is again rumored to come with the Note 10 Plus kind of design, which is perfect because I think Samsung has achieved an ultimate design form. So this should try and focus more towards bringing meaningful upgrades such as cameras, such as battery and all that stuff. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, last but not least, we have an exclusive news coming from Samable.com. There's a new model number in the game called as SMN770F. And just by the model number, you can tell that it is a Galaxy Note phone in the works. This could actually be an affordable Galaxy Note 10 model. Right now, we have the Note 10 Plus and the Galaxy Note 10. But this model could be more cheaper, hence allowing more customers to use the Galaxy Note phones who haven't used them before. Because let's face it, the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, they're just too expensive. You guys remember a couple of years back, Samsung actually released a phone called Galaxy Note 3 Neo or Note Neo, which had similar capabilities as the Galaxy Note 3, but with a lower quality display and a non-flagship processor. Again, this is just a pure speculation. Looking from the model number, it could actually be a Galaxy Note 10 Neo, a third Note model in the Galaxy Note lineup. Again, we'll see more on this soon. So yeah, that's all the current news regarding the Galaxy S11 situation. Samsung is coming back back and coming hard on the competition. Can't wait to see what Samsung will bring with the S11. It's gonna be the biggest camera upgrade since the Galaxy S7. Way, way overdue, but it's finally happening. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.